Okay, in this video we're checking out a uh, frame here, a micro frame from Flywoo. Uh, it's called the Ant 140mm. And inside you get a bag with all the parts and it looks like you get some instructions too. So it looks like an explosion diagram and some list of parts. But yeah, for those of you guys who are wondering what's inside the box, it just comes like this. Okay, so here's everything out of the bag. Um, yeah, this one comes in two colors. This is the gold version here with the the gold aluminum hardware and standoffs. And then you have the aluminum side pieces here for the camera mount. Uh, the other color is silver, I believe. And then this is obviously a unibody, uh, not separated arms here. And then here is the top plate. Pretty, pretty nice carbon actually, it looks pretty cleanly cut. And they are including one of their Kevlar battery straps here. I think it's like 20 millimeters by 200 millimeters for this. And you get your M3 screws here for putting the frame together. Pretty simple, it's just uh, two plates. And here's some of the specs here. Um, 3K carbon fiber, 7075 aluminum. I think that's probably the strongest. Two millimeter top plate and three millimeter bottom plate. It says it's 38 grams. We'll put this together and we'll give you a weight measurement here, but yeah, this is how you put it together. Pretty simple. Okay, just give you one more closer look to the uh, bottom plate here. You can see that this is the front here. Uh, it looks like kind of a dead cat style. Uh, M3 holes here for your mount points and you can see it's a dual stack mount system here, 20 by 20. Uh, you have Slots for battery straps on the bottom if you want to do batter, uh, bottom mounted, and also slots on the top plate for top mount. I'll probably do a top mount for this one. Um, yeah, pretty nice carbon and feels fairly strong. Should hold up okay. I'm not sure I'm, I'm digging these pointy edges here because the motors are going to mount on three holes there. That's a 9 and 12 millimeter hole pattern, so it'll take a wide variety of micro motors but I think that if you crash right here obviously this is there to protect the motor uh, it's gonna because of that hole there it's probably gonna break that piece off there so you might want to maybe see if someone has a 3d printer part for this provide a little bit extra cushion perhaps um, yeah but yeah not so sure about that but yeah let's put this together Okay, so here it is assembled. Pretty simple, just three screws on the top, um, four on the bottom. And you got a little holder for your SMA connector, I suppose, and some antenna mounts. Now these metal camera side plates here are kind of loose, you can see. I think that's by design, so like once you screw on your camera here, it should tighten that up and shouldn't rattle around. I'm assuming, so let's see here. Probably 19 millimeters. Yeah, it's 19.4. Yeah, so I think you're gonna have to screw that down. Um, maybe possibly use a, some, maybe some little washers or something like that, just to make sure that it's nice and snug. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably, you know, you'll probably see that in the build when I when I actually build this out. I'm gonna actually probably build this out. And obviously, this is gonna be for your like split mini Cadex Turtle Fox Ear Mix type camera with your HD recording. Uh, board up here, flight controller, and you see in the back. And yeah, I'm not sure it's so much about camera protection here. Looks like it's even even if you use the back screw hole there. Mm, yeah, not 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 so confident about the camera protection on on a crash in this one. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how that works out. In terms of uh, space here for your stack. I think it's a 20, yeah, it's 25 millimeter standoff there. What's interesting is on the, some of the photos I saw, I thought it was slanted in the back, like it was shorter in the back, but it looks like it's the exact same height across, so there shouldn't be any issue there. Pretty simple frame. Okay, so let's see what the uh, actual weight is. And the page said about 38 grams, and here in my scale saying about 35 and a half. 35.6 grams, so eh, not too bad. 
I mean, if you guys weren't wondering uh, what prop this takes, it takes a 3 inch prop. So you could probably put like a 11, 11 OX type motor, 12 OX, 13 OX, 14 OX, or even 15 OX motor on this. Anything with a 9 millimeter or 12 millimeter hole pattern ought to work with this one. So this is uh, this frame will take a wide variety of setups um, in terms of power. For me, not sure what I'm going to put on this. Probably like a 1304, 1306 or something like that. Not, not make it too heavy. And uh, probably put the, the uh, Foxier mix on this one. I think the new camera that I'll be getting. So I think I'll set this frame aside for that. You'll see a build um, or some sort of uh, video on this frame with whatever is in it uh, in, a in the future video. So stay tuned for that.